Hello friends and uh, my microbiology lovers. This is my first video lecture on uh, microbiological techniques and I will be today talking on uh, the bacterial enumeration methods uh, and this part will contains only the uh, enumeration that is the viable count of bacterial culture or suspension. So in our uh, day to day microbiological analysis methods and in microbiological research as well as in the studies undergraduate and graduate studies we are uh, used to be, we are used to with uh, microbiological enumeration methods like counting the bacterial cells the viable culture load and uh, under in vitro physiological conditions or in laboratory conditions uh, of various treatments we used to grow bacterial cells in the culture flask and during that time we need to calculate the total bacterial populations as the bacterial load uh, and uh, other uh, countings uh, for enumerating the bacterial cells inside the bacterial uh, suspension or homogenate so the uh, normal convention conventional method is uh, serial dilution and uh, plating of that serial dilutions to the respective uh, media like a nutrient broth or via Burton broth or MSM broth or any of the eosin methylene blue uh, um, uh, agar agar plates broth amended with agar plates and then counting that bacterial uh, load or the bacterial cells through colony forming unit per ml but uh, sometimes during growth we need to we need to uh, we need to study the growth uh, properties with respect to time and uh, we have to we have to sample it and resample it multiple times at regular interval of time and we don't have any um, we don't have uh, much of sample to analyze the bacterial load so to reduce the time the reduce the culture volume and to uh, reduce the multiple uh, serial dilutions and then plating then use of multiple uh, petri plates and the tubes uh, in 1938, Miles and Mishra developed a technique uh, in which uh, all these things are taken care of. So I am today I am going to uh, elaborate on the uh, Babel uh, count method of a bacterial suspension or homogenate from a culture suspension using Miles and Mishra method. So the Miles and Mishra method described itself the serial dilution and the viable uh, plating but uh, it is somewhat different in terms of its uh, overall approach uh, i am showing you the uh, i am showing you the uh, total uh, method described uh, by me in this paper so in the miles and misra methods uh, if a bacterial cell uh, or culture is growing in a flask and if this is the uh, culture flask and uh, where the cotton uh, cap is there to prevent the, um, the contamination from the outset air and in this flask this uh, bacteria is growing uh, so uh, from this we have to first take a 0 0.1 ml of the culture suspension and uh, or make it a 1 by 10 dilutions so that uh, so, uh, dilutions and uh, take into a tube in which uh, you have to take appropriate uh, buffer like phosphate buffer saline or normal saline uh, into another tube uh, and up uh, to 0.9 ml to make up the volume of total of 1 ml so take 0.1 ml of the culture suspension from this uh, broth uh, broth and add it to 0.9 ml of the resuspension resus medium or the buffer uh, which is uh, 10 fold serial dilutions and uh, which is 10 to the power minus 1 so accordingly you have to dilute it accordingly you have to dilute it uh, uh, up to 10 to the power minus 8 where 10 to the power minus 1 take 0.1 ml to another tube add uh, 900 uh, microliter of the buffer to make it 1 ml so each time you make uh, add 0.1 ml from the previous uh, culture uh, previous uh, buffer solutions and then next add subsequently to make up to 0 10 to the power minus 8 dilutions then from each dilution uh, you from each dilution you can uh, you can take the sample uh, for 20 microliter uh, you can take 20 microliter of the sample volume you can take 20 microliter of the sample volume and 
with the help of pipette you add it to the medium plates like uh, what like i told like nutrient uh, agar medium or uh, luria batrani so before adding 20 microliter of that uh, diluted uh, suspension you divide your uh, petri plates into eight equal marks uh, for which 10 to the minus 1 to 10 to the minus 8 cultures you will be adding uh, 20 microliter uh, so you, you add 20 microliter of your suspension to the plate and uh, uh, incubate for 18 to 24 hour at 30 to 37 degree centigrade for growth of that colonies so there are some specific notes about these methods like while adding 20 microliter from each uh, dilutions uh, you should add uh, from a 2.5 centimeter height from the agar surface and uh, don't try to touch the agar while adding 20 microliter after adding 20 microliter of the suspension you wait for 15 to 20 minutes uh, so that all the culture suspension of 20 microliter volume should be percolated through the agar surface and uh, dry up and then uh, keep the plates uh, straight up for that 15 to, uh, 15 to 20 minutes and then uh, you can uh, incubate at uh, 18 to uh, for 18 to 24 hours in a bacteriological incubator or your incubator and then you can count uh, colony forming unit per ml as in normal method you count to colony forming unit per ml in this method uh, the uh, the normal conventional way of uh, colony counting is 330 to 300 which is a valid count so for miles and mr method it is 22 to 20 colonies uh, per each dilutions if it exceeds beyond 20 and uh, it's um, below than 2 then you should not consider plate as a viable count so if you get a viable count or good count in between 2 to 20 then you should calculate the cfu per ml so for counting the cfu per ml you uh, multiply the number of colonies uh, the number of average colonies like uh, while plating you take three plates uh, for each sample so that it is uh, it looks uh, statistically sound and good so for calculating cfu per ml you take the average colonies uh, in each dilutions into 50 into the dilution factor so you calculate the total colonies and that will represent the uh, colony forming unit per ml so this method is basically a total reduction of the volume the, the resources and the resources of the conventional dilution plating method viable for viable count but uh, the uh, but the um, good thing about this uh, method is um, method is you can uh, uh, use one plate instead of eight plates for uh, if you if you are uh, plating from min 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power minus 8 dilutions but uh, the precautionary measure in this method is uh, if you uh, if you are growing a culture which is uh, which is uh, producing more EPS or uh, whose growth uh, on the colony uh, the growth of the colonies on the other plates is not so uniform and uh, producing some of the extra um, uh, nearest materials outside the cells in that case you may not uh, get good uh, distinct colonies within that uh, area of your drug so be cautious on that and uh, in the next video i will be telling about some more uh, interesting uh, microbiological techniques and till then bye